be his holy fear in your heart. Bring you to repentance tonight. 21.8, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, so what? Have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Don't wait. What would you do if God, or if Jesus came back and you say, but God, I was going to come. I was going to come up. And it would be too late. <laughs> Think about that, y'all. Don't wait. Don't wait. Just come up. It's not worth it. God has prepared a place. It was prepared originally for the devil and his angels. And it is a place prepared by God where the damned of all ages will suffer the full indignation, the wrath, the anger, the torment, the pain, all that a creator God can imagine in his fine, infinite mind. God is creating, God has created a hell of torment, indignation for his wrath. And boy, when I begin to see this, it changed my whole concept of hell. It changed the way I preach it. You say, how could a loving Jesus create a hell so horrible it's beyond imagination where his full wrath for eternity is going to be spent on the ungodly and the sinful? Jesus warned about this over and over again. Jesus preached hell more than any Pentecostal Baptist preach on the face of the earth. He preached it to his friends. Now I'm going to take you to the scriptures. Don't, don't turn, just follow me. I'm going to take you to Luke 12, 5. Listen to what Jesus said to his friends. He's not talking to prostitutes and alcoholics now. He's talking to his disciples. Listen to what he said. And I say unto you, my friends, do not be afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more power in what they can do. But I'll tell you who you shall fear. Fear him which after he's killed the body has power to cast you into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Who said that? Jesus said that. Folks, if Jesus said it, I have a right to preach it. Every preacher in America should be preaching because Jesus preached it. He preached it to his friends. He preached it to those who were saved. He said, I'll tell you who to fear. Fear him who after you're dead, he can cast you into a hell. Fear him. Jesus was first to warn of hell fire. He said in Matthew 5, 22, But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Jesus called it a danger. Be in danger. Be warned. Jesus taught it's better to cut off your right arm or you cut out your right eye than to be cast into godless hell. He said, If your eye offends you, cut it out. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envines, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians 5 19, 21. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Revelation 21 8.
If you want to learn more about the subject of hell, we recommend the next book. While Out of My Body, I Saw God, Hell, and the Living Dead, by Roger Mills. When Roger Mills died in October of 1998, his soul and spirit came out of his body, and he came face to face with Almighty God, and his arch enemy Satan the Devil. The Almighty God commissioned Roger Mills to warn the living, regarding their salvation, and his soon appearance to the earth. Roger Mills' death outer body encounter, and these messages he was asked to deliver, are documented in his new eye-opening book, While Out of My Body, I Saw God, Hell, and the Living Dead. In the book, Roger Mills gives a chilling detailed account of his tour of the outer darkness of hell, and the tormented souls of the living dead, burning in the fires of hell. Mills also paints a vivid image of some of the other things he witnessed, including the pits of fire, demonic spirits, Satan, the room of the future dead, the old paradise garden of Eden and much more. Definitely, an eye-opening journey. In this book God reveals to Mills, so many shocking things about the outer darkness of hell. Things that a lot of people probably would have never thought of before. All the unanswered questions, that many have had on their minds, were revealed in this book. Mills encounters so many different sides of hell, and finds out how each one is different, and what each side is meant for. He also has encounters with many human souls, evil demonic spirits at work, as well as an encounter with Satan himself. This book is absolutely a revealing tool from the Most High, in detail explain versicles of the Holy Bible regarding hell and its mysteries. The most amazing thing, is the love God has for His children, and how much He wants for each of us to turn to Him. So many good people, or they think they're so good, who aren't making it. Because the Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 